the Delta variant is getting super serious. The CDC is now saying it accounts for a whopping 83% of new COVID infections. Now, some experts are saying it is time to mask up yet again, even if you are vaccinated. Check out this clip from Anderson Cooper. You know, I know that if you're fully vaccinated like you and I are, our risk of both getting sick and transmitting it to our children is low. But uh, if you're in an area where there's a lot of infection, or if you're worried about that risk of transmission, then wearing a mask, especially in indoor settings when you go out, is the right thing to do. That's what I do. Wow. Well, listen, we've gone through a lot over the last year and a half, right? Um, I feel like that I acclimated to masking and then being here in this studio, since we're all vaccinated, I've acclimated to not masking. Are you ready to mask up again? Well, I was in LA this weekend and at midnight on Sunday morning, the mask mandate went into effect indoors. So like literally we went up um, in the elevator on Saturday night and we didn't have to wear a mask and we came back down and we had to wear a mask. Wow. So um, I, we've been traveling, so I'm used to that, but I'm, I would wear a mask in certain situations anyway. Even outside? If well, I guess it would depend on what the situation right. is, but um, yeah, I still am wearing masks more than I'm not wearing masks. Yeah, I, my thing is, is like, we don't know, and our next story has Fox News, that was CNN, and if you listen to one, you hear one thing, if you listen to the other, you hear another. It's like, I thought you couldn't catch COVID if you were outside and something to do with the UV rays and it couldn't spread. So what are the facts? I don't know the facts that we're a year and a half into this and one person telling one thing and another person telling another and somehow it got politicized even though Donald Trump got vaccinated. I'm so confused about what the truth is. Well, I mean, look, Jeff, this is not only where we are, but like we need to talk, think about this and like how we look at history. Like this is a brand new thing that we're dealing with. Obviously, we had we dealt a little bit with this with H1N1. So we were kind of on second base when we started to try and find a cure. But we're just figuring this out. So I think that a lot of that uh, ignorance on all of our parts was used against us because they go, oh, well, we don't know. Where do you wear it outside? Can you kiss your partner? And I think maybe the scientific community would have been better off saying we're not sure yet but i think that's the honest answer I know, we, but we know do some know things. enough from our doctors we know a right lot. so i encourage everybody to please just talk to your doctors we are always have dr coley on she has addressed time and time and time again what we do know at least right now that this has become a pandemic for the unvaccinated sure there are a handful a very small number of breakthrough cases with people who are vaccinated but those individuals are showing asymptomatic symptoms they're not being hospital hospitalized 99 percent of the patients right now with covid in the icu are the un vaccinated. So there's some statistics right there to hopefully give you some uh, a sobering wherewithal to say, OK, maybe I had some things wrong. Let me go consult with my doctor and have that conversation with them, because there is so much misinformation to Jeff's point and a lot of fear mongering.